This is where my kids like to eat sometimes. They sit over there. All of that stuff is waiting for them to come. Hopefully next week. That's it. You can show also Steven Gerrard. My favorite player. Atlanta game was was difficult. We start good the game, but then uh, they scored a goal, and they was a little bit in front of us. But when we when we leveled the game, on that time I, I think we should do much better and uh, grab some point from there huh? because it's strong and uh, hard opponent to play away. So we need this kind of point to to take with us. It's naturally a winger, a that wants to get forward. This one slides all the way across, and it's Lucas Stojanovic again! His second goal in his many games, and just like that to start the second half, the fire leveled things up and put a massive punish. As a soccer player, football player, how we call it, you have a confidence and uh, you are not afraid to play away games. And in Europe you have also amazing stadiums and all, the, all that stuff, but, but here is something a little bit different than, than the rest of the world. This one to a close, as Atlanta United come away with their first win in 2021 in Major League Soccer, but it was not enough in the end, as the five stripes in front of 20,000 in their home opener get three points. And all smiles for Atlanta United, a tough one to swallow for Chicago Fire, as they'll continue their show on the road and head to Red Bull Arena next week. The season is uh, still young. We have a lot of game in front of us, so I just hope that we we get points away also because it's important. Otherwise, we will not grow on the on the table. We need to push ourselves for away games. It's not enough sometimes to give 100%. Maybe we need more. We need something extra. My family is the biggest thing that motivated me during my career, also for all my life. See, my father was a goalkeeper coach and he was also a professional football player uh, since I, I was a kid. I was supposed to come every day on his trainings. I enjoy watching them when I was seven, eight years. I see that I love the soccer. One of the biggest dreams to me was to play professional. My parents and uh, my brother with his family, they live in Qatar. She wife and children, they are in Serbia. Yeah. They supposed to come last week. My wife was positive, a COVID test, so that's why we cancelled the ticket and all this stuff. First of all, it's important health. They are over there until they show negative and uh, I hope they will come soon, like in a week or, or something like this stuff, because I used to live with them. Hey, little boy, everybody is quiet. Class, eh? Everybody is quiet. You, you, you come in first, huh? Everybody, Tonga, everybody quiet. Mano, todo. Miguel quiere hablar y, y él dice primero, man. Bro, I get red like uh, Apple, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ah, oy, oy, oy. Ah. We got Roger Federer versus... Ah, man.
has stood out to you the most about Luka uh, Stojanovic and just his knack for being in the right place? I'm not surprised what I see because I know the player and he's a very, very technical player who can set plays up and goals and who can score goals in the last 35, 40, 40 yards. He is very clinical, he is very, very calm and very good and I know that and that's what he showed. We, we have to manage him well in this season coming from an, a long injury out for like since last July. He has done a very good preseason. We we're very happy with that. He's done a good start of the season, but we have to we have to be careful with him. We have to manage him over these next two, three months. He has quality and I never doubt that he will that will he will help our team to, to create chances and score uh, score goals. I, I think like that. I mean the lower you hit it, the sharp play. Uh -huh. sharp. Bad, eh? no, I always tuned in. He's the last hard day, but be sharp, alright? Come on. Come on, boys. Keep the three points on Sunday. Positive, eh? We are still positive. It's the beginning of the season. But we need to start grabbing it's points, okay? Nosotros estamos mentalizados para para hacer el mejor partido posible y y bueno el resultado de la semana pasada no no cambia nada y y nosotros vamos a seguir con nuestra idea y y trabajando en lo nuestro que que si seguimos así pues vamos a sacar resultados seguros. Para el próximo partido, eh, bueno, eh, vamos a encontrar un rival duro que, que presiona mucho. Eh, va a ser un partido en su, en su casa y, y todo lo que eso conlleva, que a nosotros nos cuesta la salida y, y algo que, que tenemos pendiente de la temporada pasada y tenemos que cambiar eso. Va a ser un partido bonito, un estadio bonito y, y nada, so, nosotros vamos a hacer lo mejor que, que sabemos hacerlo para, para llevar nuestros puntos y, y coger esa confianza para, para el próximo partido. En general eh, tenemos buen equipo, eh, eh, con la llegada de Lucas, eh, la recuperación de Johan, los nuevos jugadores, eh, el equipo se hace más competitivo y, y bueno, tenemos un gran equipo para conseguir el objetivo, el objetivo está claro que, que son los playoffs y, y vamos a luchar toda la temporada para, para llegar ahí y luego a partir de ahí pues intentar llegar lo más lejos posible y, y Dios dirá que, que es lo que ocurre.